We have a very good record of, of metazoans in, in, in the Ediacaran, but where do they come from is an interesting issue, I think. And I think we can get a, a clue from looking at a potential food source for metazoans, for animals, prior to the Ediacaran period. And that's preserved as stromatolites. And what's really very noticeable in the rock record is that stromatolites are very diverse and very abundant in rocks older than about a billion years, but become much less so after a billion years. So what happened that about a billion years ago to reduce both the diversity in forms of stromatolites and their abundance in the sedimentary rock record? One possibility, and I think it's really the, the simplest explanation, is that that um, fall in diversity and abundance is somehow related to the origins of, met of metazoans. For example, if there were microscopic or millimetric animals of one sort or another, such as things that uh, are like nematodes now, which are little worms, and if they had evolved about a billion years ago, they could well have started disrupting microbial mass in the marine environments and in, in lakes. And they could have been living, in fact, on the, the cells of the microbes that build stromatolites. And even if they weren't eating them, they could have been, through their microscopic burrowing activities, have been disrupting the laminated structure of, of these microbial mass. And that could account for the, the fall of uh, diversity and, and abundance starting with. So I, I think possibly we're seeing a, a metazoan prehistory, as Martin Glasner liked to call it, uh, starting at about a, a billion years ago. That would be consistent with, for example, with the um, evidence for, slight evidence anyway, for sponges earlier than the Ediacaran. And from time to time, fossils are des described from these older rocks that, that could be metazones. For example, in, in Canada, there are things called twitcher disks, which have been interpreted by Narbonne and Hoffman as part of possible medusa-like organisms. 